A lot of adults use apps for, oh, all sorts of things. Uh, some of them looking for love, and while some of these apps are not intended for teenagers, it's really easy for them to get past the restrictions. And a lot of teens are using them. Well, this morning, Burton Kelso of Integral Computer Consultants joins us with some of the more prevalent adult dating apps that teens are using. And like we were just talking, you know, some of these things are completely foreign to us. I mean, I think it would take me a day and a half just to figure out Tinder. But teenagers are just, they're all over this. They are. Um, just hop on the App Store, whether it be the iPhone App Store or the Google App Store, and there's just apps galore. So mm -hmm. I think if... Uh, something looks cool and neat, teens are going to download it and start using it, especially if it allows them to communicate with their peers. Now, some of the scary aspects of this are the location parts yeah, of this, Yes, right? a lot of the apps will track your location. They'll enable your smartphone's location tracker. So if you get on that app, uh, your peers or even strangers can mm. pinpoint where you are. That scares me. Okay, the first app we want to talk about is called Scout. Scout. Scout is an app that is a dating app, and they make it for both teens and adults. So if you're going to let your teenager use any of the apps, Scout's probably the safest one, Okay. Uh, especially since there's a teen side. So adults and teens can kind of um, They're meet. separated, hopefully. Y yes, they are <laughs> separated. But uh, there's no, location or no age verification mm. process on Scout. So, I mean, you can let your teen use it. But you have to be careful and make sure that they're talking to their peers and not strangers. Yeah, because in situations like this, it would be very easy for, you know, stranger, danger, pedophile person to pretend that they're a teenager. Oh, I mean, definitely. How, who's to, you know? Definitely. Pedophiles aren't driving around in the white vans anymore. They're online and they're looking for victims there. Right. Okay, our next app you pronounce is Badoo? Badoo. Okay. Now, Badoo is strictly an adult dating app. I think it starts out at age 23 and goes up from there. Uh, but it's got a feature where you can view photos. Uh, it's got location services too, where you can pinpoint someone that you would mm -hmm. want to meet or hook up with. Uh, but uh, chat on Badoo can become very sexual, so you definitely want to keep your teens away from, from that app. Not a good one. Okay, no. Meet Me is the next one. Meet Me uh, promotes meeting strangers. And you Ooh. definitely do not want your teenager to do <laughs> oh that. My. But the whole purpose is another social media app, and it's uh, designed for adults to get out and meet other adults in their area. But again, with Meet Me, it's got the location feature on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you connect with someone, they can definitely track you down within 500 feet of your location. Oh, my goodness. And Omegle, is that how you pronounce it? Omegle, yes. Now, Omegle uh, allows you to start out with anonymous chat. Uh, but then once you connect with somebody, you can definitely share uh, critical information such as address, zip code, phone numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, all, it's another app that allows uh, sexual predators to prey on teens online. Bottom line, what do we need to tell our kids? Um, don't download apps from the App Store. And as parents, we really need to be vigilant and make sure that we know what's on our kids' smartphones and our kids' tablets. Never share personal information. That's right. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Great information as always, Burton.